welcome students to the part 1 of today's session in this module we are going to deal with the chapter motion in a plane in the last class we had discussed about motion in 1 2 and 3 dimensions in one dimensional motion only one out of the three coordinates specifying the position of the object changes with respect to time in two dimensional motion two out of three coordinates represent the position of an object change with respect to time in three dimensional motion all the three coordinates are specified and all the three represent the change in position of the object with respect to time in this chapter firstly we will be dealing with the quantities scalars and vectors we have already studied that the physical quantities which are specified with the magnitude or size alone are called scalar quantities for example length speed work mass density etc vector quantities refer to the physical quantities which are characterized by the presence of both magnitude as well as direction for example displacement force torque momentum acceleration velocity etc now let us compare between scalars and vectors we know a scalar quantity is a quantity with magnitude only whereas a vector quantity is a quantity with magnitude as well as direction. So in scalars no direction and in vectors there is direction. And scalars are specified by a number and a unit whereas vectors are specified by a number, direction and a unit. Scalars are represented by the quantity symbol whereas vectors are represented by the quantity symbol in bold letters or with an arrow sign above the symbol. For scalars, examples are mass and temperature, whereas for vectors, the examples are velocity and acceleration. Now let us define position vector. A vector drawn from the origin of the coordinates to a distinct point in space is called position vector. It determines the position of a point relative to a fixed point O called the origin. It is usually represented by the letter R. Displacement vector. We have already studied the term displacement which is the shortest distance between the initial and final points. The displacement vector is a vector which gives the position of a point with reference to a point other than the origin of the coordinate system. Displacement vector is represented by R12 which is the displacement vector between the points 1 and 2 which is given by vector R2 minus vector R1. equal vectors vectors a and b are said to be equal if magnitude of a is equivalent to magnitude of b as well as their directions are the same multiplication of a vector by a real number when a vector a is multiplied by a real number n then its magnitude becomes n times that of vector A but direction and unit remains unchanged. Negative of a vector. A vector equal in magnitude with the other vector but opposite in direction can be called as the negative of a vector. Suppose if we have two vectors A and B both having the same magnitude but they are oppositely directed then we can write vector A is equivalent to negative of vector B. 
zero vectors. Zero vector is a vector with zero magnitude and an arbitrary direction. Zero vectors can be represented by bold zero or zero with an arrow above it. The zero vector is just represented by a point. Unit vector. A unit vector is that vector which is a vector of unit magnitude and points in a particular direction. The unit vector in the direction of vector A is represented by A cap and it is defined as A cap is equivalent to vector A divided by magnitude or modulus of vector A. The unit vectors along the x, y and z axis are represented by i cap, j cap and k cap respectively. i cap, j cap and k cap will be of unit magnitude and they will be directed along the x, y and z axis respectively. Hope you have got an idea about the concept of vectors and the type of vectors. Thank you dear students.